Hi, I'm Emma. I'm Matt. I'm Ben. I'm Peter. I'm Luke. And we're Velvet Bow. Yo, Sil, your daughter reflects all I write. So we started out as initially a two piece with me and Luke doing a couple little performances about school. And then we added uh, Pete in for another performance, just throwing down covers. And then Emma came in and we started playing. Uh, our first originals, and then uh, one year later, Matt joined us. So, making street lights is, uh, it, I wrote it when Peter was away for a year uh, in his gap year and I had a lot of spare time and not a whole lot of stuff to do at uni. So I was just messing around with this one little uh, guitar riff which is at the very start of it and in the verses. And sort of over the course of a year it developed and added this bit and added that bit and it ended up sort of... I never really intended it to be a full band song but then in the end once we're all back here uh, we got it going and yeah went in to record it. And, yeah, and then we recorded it um, a couple of months ago now um, with Zach Barter just in Geelong here, who uh, the guys recorded the first EP with as well before I joined the band. Um, yeah, it's how I got the So we went back to Zach, and we were all happy with that. when we went up to Byron Bay yeah. and on the night before Splendour in the Grass commenced um, <laughs> we played at Woody's Surf Shack in the town of Byron Bay and it was just packed and our support was just amazing and everybody was pissed and dancing and we just had the best time and then the next day we went to Splendour so like what a good two days in general because my dad is this weird Led Zeppelin fan and um, he just had a whole bunch of guitars lying around the house and one day I decided that I wanted to be cool too and I got him to teach me how much is that doggy in the window and it was freaking awesome <laughs> and I just started playing and singing and playing and singing until everybody wishes I didn't learn how to and that's why I'm playing guitar and I stole Ben's synth about nine months ago and I've been trying to figure out how to play it and that's how I'm playing this And we work together as well. Like yeah. whoever Ben um, will probably come up with the main idea, but then um, you know he'll have a bit of it, and then we'll work together and put in our own ideas yeah, to definitely. make it as well, which is good. Well, I watched at a school music evening in grade three, I think, or grade four. They played the Led Zeppelin song, Black Dog, which I thought was awesome. So I thought, yep, I'm gonna learn the drums. And I begged Dad to let me get lessons, and he said, not really, because it's a bit of a commitment to an instrument, because the drums are a bit hefty in the room. <laughs> so I, I, he bought me a little drum pad, which is like, maybe, yeah, big. And he said, if you can stick to this for a year, then I'll get you a drum kit. 
Anyway, so I did that for about three months, and then Christmas turned around and got me a drum kit, so I was pretty stoked. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was about, yeah, end of year four. But now I've sort of moved away from the drums into the tin whistle area. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't been able to integrate that into Bell Boat. Yeah, yeah, but it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> And same goes for San Francisco. We saw them at Splendor like two months oh, a month ago. And um, shit, the girl in that is just freaking awesome. And when they do back and forth, I'm just like, that is what I want to do. And so that's what I'm drawing. favourite song to perform would be, at the moment, Ice Cream, yeah. because... Yeah. No, oh, I like volleyball better. Oh, but the break... Oh, well, we've got one part in Ice Cream that we really like because we spent about an hour and a half working on a single one-beat break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's, we drop the first beat and it just slaps you in the face when it comes back in and it's great fun. But, I mean, overall, from our view, it's been our last song for the last few sets. Um, Volleyball is like huge dancey change at the end. It's great fun. I just like playing because I can dance to it all. Yeah, I, I, I get bits where I don't have to play it. I just stand there, just like yeah. the whole point. Yeah. yeah. The best part's when you're not playing and you can just. And you just boogie. boogie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> consistent and one constant idea whereas then it's just like jibble jabble <laughs> oh this is really poetic so I'm gonna put this in which just sounds awesome but confuses me and so um yeah I think that's what makes that was very interesting though <laughs> So they're all new songs that we're just trying out and testing and all these different styles as Ben said. Um, so yeah, in about a month's time I reckon it will be pick and choose. Like which one do we like the best, which for us is pretty exciting, I reckon. Yeah. yeah, one battle piano. Uh, and the mine. Freedom of piano. So, um, what key would a piano be in when you track it down a mine sharp? What is it? Sharp. It's A flat minor. Hey, hey! Best one ever. 